Welcome to the YouTube home of Sparrow Woodworks Canada. In episode 5, I'm going to show you how to turn this simple clip art pattern into a hand carved tree. Let's get started. Here's the pattern. I started by printing in a large clip art file of a generic evergreen tree. Clip art files or many black and white drawings of objects are often a good starting point for many carvings. They are easily printable and are often simple enough to ensure the carving does not seem too daunting. I like to use a ruler to help me keep my line straight. Once the pattern is traced, I move to the bandsaw. Here you can see that I actually drew out two copies of the tree. I guess this is the start of a small forest. Here's the tree blank ready for carving. In the shot, you can see my favorite shallow carving gouge from Lee Bell. However, I'm going to start drawing lines where I would like to make some stop cuts. After finishing these initial stop cuts, I will start carving out three levels of the tree. This will provide the illusion of each level overhanging the one underneath. Eventually, I get on a large chisel to try and hog away the wood a little more quickly. I want the edges to be thinner than the center of the tree, and this large chisel really helps. Remember to go downhill of the grain so it doesn't tear out. Back to the shallow gouge. Once the face or front of the tree is carved, there are still the edges to do. I make sure that every exposed part has been touched with the gouge. I do not want any flat or machine faces showing. I am holding the piece in my hands, but I am careful to always have the gouge moving away from my fingers. Here's the finished carving. With the carving finished, it's time to add some color. A couple of acrylic paints from the dollar store are just what this carving needs. Here is the project completed. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.